welcome to April career and money readings. I know that this might be a little bit hard or strange times for you with coronavirus, but I'm going to do the best I can. So that being said, this is for the majority of your rising sign. Okay. Your personal situation is going to be best assessed with a private reading just because everybody's in a different location and has a different you know sector that they work in or whatever but um that's how we're going to do this so this is for your rising sign you can go ahead and watch it for your sun sign but this video right here is going to explain to you why you would want to watch career or money readings for your rising sign specifically they're going to be much more accurate for you so let's just get started I forgot to mention that um, love readings are going to look like this and if you're not subscribed that you would want to hit the notification bell and do that so that you're alerted when they come out. Leo, what is up with your career and your money? Okay, so career, it's like seeds don't grow if you don't plant them. So what are you planting? Like if you're not going to work, obviously you're not going to get paid, right? Um, but like if you have your own business, if you're taking this time and you're not really doing anything with it, like if you're on quarantine or something like that, well then how do you expect things just to grow for you? They're like opportunities don't just like come out of the sky. We have to create them for ourselves sometimes. Sometimes they do come out of the sky and we're just given to given them. But in April, that's not really what's happening for you as far as your career goes. Now, um, money wise, they're like holding on to it you know, holding on to what you have, being smart with it, means that you don't have anything to worry about. So, I mean, it sounds kind of obvious, but that's what they say. So what do you have to look forward to this month? And they're saying, um, you know, examining your feelings and understanding that you are truly going to be recognized for your success. Cancer had something similar where it's like, you are successful, you are powerful, and what you do matters, okay? And it might not be noticed this month, but it's coming for you. And so they're like, you should stay confident. And like knowing what you're good at also is um, something that you should feel proud of and you should actually use to your advantage. So maybe you have a talent that you're not fully utilizing. Now's the time to do that. So what is going to be your biggest annoyance in the month of April? And they're like, other people's confidence <laughs> because maybe you're going to judge yourself against them you know you might get all up in your feelings feel self-conscious but they're like you know this is not the spiritual way to go about it you are a very confident sign and it's for a reason because you have a lot of skills and talent and you know if you um what is that thing like fake it till you make it, you're really good at faking it. So people are going to view you as an expert or an authority on something, even if you're still learning how to be that person. Um, the biggest thing that you might be panicking or worrying about is is your funds, you know, that they might be out of whack a little bit, but they say talk to other people about that because these problems are solvable. Like everything can come back into balance for you sooner than you might expect. So um, what is it that, you need to look more closely at and they're like your feelings and your feelings surrounding money and scarcity so um i feel like i'm going to write a blog post that has some important links and um other people's work and site and things that i recommend as far as how to fix your money mindset so that abundance can flow more quickly and easily to you a lot of us have um, abundance blocks and so i will put a link to the blog below um, let's see. And then what is the general guidance for you in regards to money? And then in regards to career, um, in regards to money, what they're saying here is like, you actually do have control over your finances and not in all the detailed ways that you would think you should. But if you talk to people, if you talk about things, if you talk about what you're trying to figure out, you have control and the problems are solvable. Okay. Now in regards to career, they're like, be open, be open to opportunities because all of the things that you desire, these like seven wishes that you might have for yourself um, that you're trying to manifest, like if your emotions are balanced, if you get the your abundance blocks like cleared and everything is balanced out, not only will you get all of those seven things, but you'll get this bigger and brighter wish than you even thought you wanted. And so they're like, 
some of you aren't thinking about the long-term outcome, about the big picture. And so you're getting pissed off and stressed out over small little details when really they're not even a part of the equation um, and it's just lowering your vibe. So like I said, you might wanna head over to the blog. I'll put something up over there and I love you so much.